Happy Sunday, June 27, 2021. And here's the last balcony garden update for June 2021. The so first thing we have here is the cherry tomato plant. This one was purchased at the store. As you can see, it is growing tomatoes quite nicely and they're changing color. Not to mention the ones that I've already picked and eaten, and they are fantastic. I move over here to the cherry tomato plant that was grown from seed. You can see it's getting tall and um, it's got leaves on it. And it has one tomato on it. One tomato. Now there were more buds on this one and for some reason it didn't produce more tomatoes yet. So we'll have to give it more time and see. It looks like there's some buds up here near the top. I don't know if I can focus in on that. there. But it hasn't grown as much as one would expect. Now the ones that we planted in the ground at my sister's place, those ones that were grown from seed have turned into significant plants. So let's go over there and take a look at them. Okay, so here's the first cherry tomato plant that was grown from seed. Now if you take a look, you can see the flowers in there are starting. The flowers mean that we should see some tomatoes in the next week or so. That's kind of exciting. Now this is the second cherry tomato plant that was grown from seed. This was the really tall one at the beginning of the summer. And then the wind got to it. And it's grown back quite nicely. You can see there's some budding down there. You can see the flowers here. So we should see tomatoes on those pretty soon. And if we go up higher here, you can see more flowers up here. And at the top here, you can see all this budding as well. So we should get some very good results out of this plant. This is the last cherry tomato plant that was grown from seed. As you can see, it's gotten very tall over the last week as well. And you can see the budding on it right here. So, all three of the plants we've put in the ground here should have tomatoes on them in the next week or so, which is quite impressive. Over here we have the pepper plants. These are red peppers. They were planted in the ground. They're growing a little bit, but so far it's just leaves. And over here on this side, I have a pepper plant that was kind of drooping a little bit, so it gave it a support. You can see another plant that's behind it that's growing quite nice. And they all got nice green leaves on them, but it's just leaves so far. So I'll have to keep an eye on them and see how they progress. Now this here, this is the watermelon plant. It doesn't look like much here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. You can have a look. You can see a yellow flower. That is the watermelon. And over here is another yellow flower. So it looks like I could get a couple of watermelons already from this plant. So that's kind of exciting. Now over here, I planted a pepper plant that wasn't doing anything on the balcony. And as you can see, it is budding here. You can see a few little buds right there. And it's budding over here too. So hopefully this plant will grow. Now one thing we didn't take into account here is that there is a zucchini plant here beside it. Well, it wasn't really beside it when it was planted, but this plant has grown like crazy. It's an absolute monster. So, I might have to move the pepper plant um, or trim the leaves on the zucchini plant, one or the other, if it's not getting enough sunlight here. Now, if you remember, there was a parsley plant over here. Curly parsley, here it is. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this plant is just growing like 
right over top of it. And this plant is oregano, which means that there was an oregano plant here before, and it has just come back. Very interesting. So if I give you a view from here, you can see these are the store-bought tomato plants. And then over here, the grown from seed plant. The store-bought ones are growing quite significantly. You can see the yellow flowers all over them. And here we are on the other side. Now we know that tomato plants grow like crazy and they need a lot of space. And they seem to grow fine here. They never seem to have a problem lacking water. Here you can see some tomatoes on it, not just flowers, yep. Yeah. And over here on the end, you can see that was the tomato plant grown from seed. So you can see it's not as tall as the store-bought ones yet. Well, that's pretty impressive that that was grown from one cherry tomato. And I'm not just talking about this one plant. Eight plants from one cherry tomato. Three of which are here and one of which is still on my balcony. Now as you can see, the plants that were grown from seed have been far more successful in the ground. As you can tell from last week, they really all had a growth spurt, but the balcony one did not. So what have I learned so far this week? If you're going to grow from seed, it's better to plant them in the ground. Okay, here we have these jalapeno peppers. This one's got a funny like J shape to it, like a foot. Cane, that's kind of funny. Another one over here. I've already picked some off this plant. Um, they are very hot, spicy, great for cooking. It's not something you want to eat raw unless your tolerance is through the roof. This plant here is kind of funny. Through this hot pepper here, there's another one budding here. There was a lot more budding on this plant, but it only seemed to get what looks like two peppers so far. It looks like another one starting up here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to zoom in. Might be another one starting there. Now over here with the Hungarian pepper. Oh, significant pepper growing here on this plant. But again, it's the same story. The plant had lots of flowers, and there's a flower up here. I don't know if we can see that. So there's one budding up here, but again, didn't get the production that I thought I would so far to this plant. And it looks like there's another bud here. Too. Yeah. Like growing on the balcony is one of those things that you never know. The strawberries look like they were off to a running start out of the gate this year. And we did get some strawberries, but not as many as last year. Haven't been as successful. So, you never know. And this here was last year's strawberry plant, and it just keeps getting more and more green leaves on it, but no strawberries. So, so far that one is a failure. I probably don't even need to show you the garlics because you can just pull the greens off and use them as chives. Same kind of thing. They have a nice garlicky flavor to them, but um, there's really not much to see because garlic takes a long time to grow and it's under the ground. And over here, this was the lemon seed. It's kind of like a lemon plant. And it's getting a little taller and developing more leaves. But, I don't know, it's an interesting one. I'll have to keep an eye on that and see what happens there. And then here we have the onions and they are fantastic. It's a huge success as always, spring onions. You can see some of the bulbs are popping out of the ground already. And onions are easy to grow and they grow fast. And very happy to grow onions every year.
And so all in all, just over a month into gardening season this year, and once again, we have a success. But I think the biggest success of all this week is how the tomato plants that were grown from seed have grown significantly in the last week, the ones that were planted in the ground. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next update, which will be in July. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.